Welcome back to Weird Stuff in a Can. Today's Weird Stuff in a Can is Carlin Pease. Okay, today is the 7th of April 2019. It's the 5th Sunday of Lent. It's Carlin Sunday. Now, you might be wondering, what is Carlin Sunday? So, let me give you a bit of background. I was born and raised in the south of England, but my mum comes from the north of England. My mother was born and raised in Easington Colliery. It used to be a mining town, it's now just a town on the east coast. So Carlin Sunday is a tradition from that part of the British Isles. And on the fifth Sunday of Lent, people would very often eat Carlin peas. And it's based on a tradition which is more of a legend or perhaps even a myth. It goes back hundreds of years to uh, the Civil War of 1644, where, as far as I understand it, the Royalists in Newcastle were under siege from the Scots and everybody was dying of starvation and at some point a ship turned up from France perhaps or somewhere else. The details are completely lost to history. So some versions of the myth just say that the ship docked and unloaded its cargo of brown peas and everybody was saved because they had something to eat. Other versions of the myth, and it's the one I was brought up with, is that the ship actually hit some sort of rocks or sandbar or something like that, the ship got into trouble and had to dump its cargo. So the ship's crew dumped sacks of these peas into the sea and they washed up on the shore and the locals actually went and foraged them straight off the shore and picked up the peas and washed them off and cooked them and ate them and by doing so staved off starvation. I don't know about you, I prefer that version of the tale partly because one of the things that these peas, these peas are eaten with salt and vinegar and it kind of feels like maybe that that might be based in the tradition that they were picked out of the sea and they were salty already. So anyway, these are Carlin peas. They are a variety of pea, which is brown and quite firm in texture. I think we've probably done enough talk, so let's get this can open and have a look and see what Carlin peas are all about. So, you can see that they are just a dark brown kind of legume, smaller than a chickpea. Let's just have a look at one. And they've got a kind of split in them, but they are brown through and through. So as a child, I probably only tried these a couple of times when we happened to be visiting the north at this time of year. And I was given a plate of Carlin peas to eat. I'm afraid to say that as a child, I was not very impressed by them. And in fact, I was given the ones that were rehydrated from dried peas rather than canned like this. And they were slightly darker in color. And I was convinced my mum was feeding me rabbit poo. But anyway, let's have a look. So the interior of the Carlin pea is, yeah, a pale tan sort of color, pale creamy tan sort of. And they've got quite a firm texture, more like a bean than a pea, I would say. Now they can be eaten just like this. Obviously that's not how they're meant to be eaten. Simplest way to eat these is obviously just with salt and vinegar and a slice of bread, but they are quite traditionally served with something called pan haggerty, which is what we're going to do today. Pan haggerty is a new recipe to me. In fact, I wasn't brought up on the stuff, but we're gonna have a go at it so that we can eat these in context. However, I'm gonna try one well cold. You're not really meant to eat them this way, but I thought I might just try one of these while they're cold. So yeah, flavour is, oh, interesting. Flavour is kind of nutty, definitely legume sort of flavour. A bit like yellow split peas maybe. But uh, anyway, that's the general taste at this stage. I imagine warming these will bring out a bit more flavour in them. Let's get to the kitchen. We'll make some pan haggerty and then we're going to have these warmed up alongside it.
Okay, so here we are. We've got Carlin peas with Pan Haggerty and sausages. I'm just going to season these with a little bit of vinegar. And a little bit of salt and pepper, which is how I would serve them back in the days of my childhood. So let's just try them on their own first. Let's just give those a taste. Well, that brings back memories. They're just like beans, really. They're like a sort of, yeah, like a haricot bean sort of texture. A little bit drier, perhaps, than a haricot bean. But they have a nutty, almost toasted flavour. Mmm. Okay, well, let's just try a little bit of this Pan Haggerty together with our Carlin peas. Now, in combination, that really is superb. I'm going to stop talking now and enjoy my dinner. We'll go back up to the studio in a minute and wrap up. So I shot this bit later because I realised I hadn't talked about the brand or the ingredients or the labelling on the can. So I've saved the label here. Let's just have a look and see what we've got. So um, the ingredients are just Carlin peas and water. A little bit of blurb here. It says Black Badger Carlin peas have a distinctive deep brown colour and delicious nutty flavour. Cooked carlin peas have a good firm texture and can be used in place of chickpeas or dark green lentils. They're great in soups, stews, curries and salad, pairing well with roasted vegetables. Produced in the UK, this brand Hodmidods, I've never heard of it before. I've never seen any of their other products, if indeed they have any other products. So I don't know if that's just a regional brand or something and maybe they have other products up in Northumberland. No idea. But anyway, so that's pretty much all we can say about the label, I think. So that was my dinner of Carlin peas with sausages and pan haggerty, and it really was delicious. In fact, especially when they were combined, the potatoes, carrots and onions, they were really delicious in a combination with that. And it took me right back. It was a taste of my childhood. And, and actually having these peas with vinegar and pepper and a little bit of salt just took me right back to that first time I tried them, when of course I didn't really appreciate them back then. But as an aid memoir, it was just actually really nice to have something that cast my mind all the way back to those times, because whilst I didn't appreciate the peas at the time, I certainly have some fond memories of those visits to my grandmother's house in the north of England. So there we go, that's Weird Stuff in a Can, Carlin Peas on Carlin Sunday. Thank you for watching, and I hope to see you again soon.